Facebook, good morning YouTube. It's the man that's always two steps ahead trying to find the next move to improve. This is the mind of music. How y'all doing this morning? I'm so glad y'all could join me. So glad you decided to tune into my broadcast once again. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Don't worry, I'm not going to yell at y'all this morning like I did yesterday. Y'all are obviously already wide awake. Y'all got up before I did. Because I'm late getting the broadcast started today. But listen, um, it's Tuesday. Tuesday is obviously headline news day. And uh, I'm just going to basically just get right on into it. Um, let's go ahead and start here. Uh, oh, and as I always do, thank you all from the bottom of my heart to continue to support my broadcast. Those of you that leave comments, I thank you very much. And even those of you that watch and don't leave comments, because I know some of you are out there because I've even talked to you. I still appreciate you watching anyway, but hey, do me a favor. Leave me a comment once in a while. Let me know you watch. You just say, hey, look, uh, you're great, love your show, blah, blah, blah. Or if you don't like it, then it's like, hey, look, you suck, uh, stick to music, whatever. At least let me know that you're watching. Okay, uh, like I said, it's headline news day. Um, obviously, some of the things that have been real heavy in the news. I don't know if a lot of you do this, but uh, yesterday, uh, April 20th, was actually the 10-year anniversary of the whole Columbine massacre that happened 10 years ago. I didn't actually even know that. But uh, yeah, they have a lot of special events planned for yesterday. They had the, um, uh, that was just in case some of you have been living under the rock, under a rock for the last 10 years. 10 years ago, uh, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold went into Columbine High School, uh, shot up a bunch of people, uh, 13 students and a teacher, no, I think it's 12 students and one teacher. Uh, ended up dying in that attack and two assailants themselves uh, killed themselves as well. Uh, horrible massacre. Uh, but yesterday was the 10 year anniversary of the Columbine Massacre. So, moving on to local news here in Baltimore. Um, and this is really something really w uh, weird I heard about uh, yesterday. Um, as if it wasn't bad enough, uh, that family murder suicide that was in Frederick County um, on Saturday. It turns around uh, yesterday, it says police ID four de dead found in the Towson Hotel. Baltimore County Police said on Tuesday uh, they released the names of the four people found Monday in a Sheraton North Baltimore Hotel in uh, Towson. They were identified as William Parente, age 59, Betty Parente, age 58, Stephanie Parente, age 19, and Catherine Parente, age 11, of Garden City, New York. Investigators are not releasing the causes or manners of death until after the completion of autopsy. So, you know, it's it's really getting bad out here. A lot of people are dying, a lot of people are, you know, committing suicide, taking other people's lives in the process, and uh, it, it's just really bad. I mean, thank God nowadays that you got a right frame of mind, because, I mean, with the economy being the way it is, people that are taking themselves out, killing themselves, it's, it's just really an awful, awful mess. But anyway, let's get on to some lighter-hearted stuff here, okay? Uh, this is courtesy of CNN.com. This is kind of... It's not, it's not lighthearted, but for some reason I just kind of find it rather comical. Um, it, the headline says, Woman tried to evict husband disappeared. Apparently it says, Two years ago this month, Lisa Stiebeck disappeared in the middle of a contentious marital separation, leaving two children behind. There was little doubt of the growing trouble in Lisa and Craig Stiebeck's marriage, according to friends, family, and court documents. They weren't speaking, but were living under the same roof. <laughs> what does that sound like? <laughs> on the day Lisa Stevick went missing April 30th, 2007, she petitioned the court to have her husband evicted from their home in Plainfield, Illinois. As the second anniversary of the Stevick's disappearance approaches, police considered her husband the prime suspect but are far from solving the case. Craig Stevick has said he is innocent of wrongdoing. Craig Stevick told police he was working in the backyard when Lisa left their home at 6 p.m., taking only her cell phone and purse. Well... Hey, I guess he figured, look, it's either going to be you or me, and I pay mortgage here too, and I ain't going nowhere, but I don't know. So who knows? Maybe she just left. She didn't feel like going through court proceedings. I don't know. Hopefully there's no foul play involved or nothing. Oh, well, anyway, moving on. Oh, here's, this, here's an interesting one. You know that uh, remaining pirate that was uh, left? You know there were four pirates that, you know, took that, that, that uh, Maersk ship? Well, apparently the, third, the uh, fourth pirate, uh, he's in New York right now. And they got a picture of this guy with a great big smile on his face. Y'all take a look at this. Wow, okay. Um, dude is smiling. Uh, said that none of the officers would confirm his identity, but his arrival for trial in the United States had been widely expected. 
that members of the media urged him to comment, but it was not clear whether he understood them. He just smiled and broadly laughed. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, once again, moving on. All right, here's something even lighter hearted. This, this is, this, you gotta, you gotta check this story out. This is the one in the funny news section under CNN. The man wants a date dials 911. Apparently, this guy named James Rush said he was so smitten with a woman he'd met last week in a Naperville bar that he called in a phony 911 report of gunfire on the city's far northwest side, according to a written statement and a written police report. Rush, age 33, now faces trial on charges of placing a false 911 call. Now, I'm not going to read this basically word for word, but I'm just going to tell you what this thing said. Basically, the guy was so smitten with this woman, uh, let's see what is, does he even list her name? Uh, okay, it doesn't, list, it doesn't list this lady's name. But basically, the lady worked in a bar, and apparently she was really drunk. So the police were called to this bar to get the lady, because uh, she apparently needed some help. Well, he wanted to, they were going to call her a cab or whatever. So, the guy James Rush was standing there watching this, and he wanted some time alone with this lady. So to get the cops away from the lady, and to risk for having her to call a cab or whatever, he called in a phony 911 call on the other side of town so that the officers could leave the drunk woman, go to that call, and he could take her home instead. I don't know. It doesn't show a picture of the woman, but she must have been fine. I don't know. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Alright, this is a couple. I don't even have words for this. I don't even have a story for this picture. Just apparently this is just some weird accident out of Burbank, California. You just got to take a look at this picture. Just, just take a look at the picture. How is all I want to know. That's all I want to know. How can you have your car sitting on end like that? You see the firework, the firemen there sitting down there with this look on their face like, I don't know what, what else is going on. Was this a woman driver? Ladies, I'm sorry if y'all taking that personally, but hey, some of y'all can't drive, okay? I know I'm going to hear some comments about that, but it's true. Oh, and last but not least, this is my personal favorite. You have got to check out this female cop. This is another picture that was on it. Take a look at this and try not to drool all over your keyboard when you see it, okay? Where was she when I was speeding and I needed to get stopped for a ticket? I would have gladly given her my license and registration. <laughs> I swear. I swear. But anyway, that's just some of the funny headline news and some of the, you know, serious headline news that's out there today, uh, April 21st, uh, 2009. Uh, once again, it's the Music Man uh, back with you. And like I say all the time, you can hit me up on YouTube, www.youtube.com slash music of Marvin which is of course my personal uh, YouTube site got all of my music performances all of the vlog broadcasts mine and music blah 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 all that good stuff hit me up on my personal email address music of Marvin at gmail.com you can get directly to me got a blackberry you send me an email you send me a question something specifically you want a uh, heard on my show a question or anything else like that hey you name it I put it out there make sure I give you a great big shout out and everything um, continue to give uh, big props to all of you out there that are doing vlog broadcasts of your own. So many people to name, so many of my friends, so many of my new acquaintances that I have met. Um, on a side note, I actually met uh, somebody online. It, this is kind of weird. I'm going to just kind of say this quick. Um, Veta Sherwood. She's one of my new Facebook friends. Veta is actually a veteran of um, uh, The Young and the Restless. She actually played uh, Lily back in 2006. Now, for those of you who watch Young and the Restless, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, those of you who don't, you're just going to be in the dark or whatever. But I actually uh, found her on uh, on Facebook and uh, friended her. And I'm like, wow, you know, you never know who it is you're going to meet. Uh, very nice person. They should have kept her on Young and the Restless as Lily, but that's a whole other issue. Uh, but better, hey, keep doing what you do. Uh, love tuning into your uh, broadcast and your vlogs that you got out there. But okay, once again, uh, like I said, it's uh, Mind and Music Broadcast. Music of Marvin, gmail.com, best way to get a hold of me. Find me here on Facebook under Marvin Music Man Lewis. Continue to support the broadcast, continue to leave me comments. Uh, got the green on today. Uh, my, my man Lem told me keep doing it with the colorful suits, but man, hey, I'll keep coming out there. 
with the colorful suits, any color you want me to name, hey, you just let me know. I'll throw it out there next day for you, all right? So, this is my end of music broadcast. Take care, people. Be safe. And wait for another opportunity to get into the mind of music. Take care, and God bless.